What's up? It's Marco back on the Sage Shocker channel. Today I want to talk about something a little bit differently. Uh, recently, Christian Pulisic uh, opened up an article about uh, mental health issues when living abroad in Europe, and I feel like that's something that we should discuss at least. I mean, it's basically become an expectation for very young players to leave home and travel overseas, uh, basically to continue their profession. And while that might be a dream come true for like a lot of people, I mean, just look, taking a step back and looking at it, like, man, we are really pushing people to leave their homes. And so with that, I feel like we should at least understand like the mental health issues of um, just traveling abroad to play overseas. I mean, it might even be relevant right now to talk about. I mean, people are going back to school right now, me included. I mean, you see I'm back in the apartment. I got that set up. Uh, got a haircut because, well, I'm an athlete, and, man, my hair is just so long. It was just impractical. But, I mean, people are going to be leaving right now. I mean, maybe somebody's got a job they're going to uh, where they might have to move. Maybe they're uh, going to college out of state or something. And, and it just seems, like, relevant to talk about. So Christian Pulisic in that article mentioned how it's a tough time uh, and how he needed to have a good support system around him when he was living alone in Europe. He mentioned uh, going to see a therapist and how that isn't something you should be ashamed of at all. Now talking with players and coaches helped him see that he wasn't alone in how he was feeling. And I feel like with that we should discuss the issues uh, players can have when traveling abroad. And keep in mind, like most of these players, if they're like an MLS star, they're homegrown players leaving. Like these are people who forget like haven't like left the country before they probably haven't left home and probably still living with their parents and they're going overseas alone to somewhere where they don't even speak the same language now, like homesickness can be an issue i mean man like even if you're away at like school or something like you could always have this feeling like man i could just pop on a train or something and come home but like and when you're overseas like that's that's different and then while you're there i mean different language you can't even like stop and ask somebody where to go i mean unless you get lucky and find someone who speaks english i mean new food i mean i know there's like a bit of a stereotype of something called like freshman 15 where you leave home and you like gain a bunch of weight but you'd also lose a bunch of weight because you just don't like the food or you just can't bring yourself to go and eat and uh man like i feel like with these players overseas i mean dude, i went to england for one week i think i had two good meals the entire time i was there and i mean and I, you know, I like Italian food and everything, but I mean, just not having something you're familiar with, that could be a big issue, and just a whole, huge culture shift you have to go through. I mean, man, some places you're driving on the wrong side of the street, you, uh, man, West McKinney's basically a celebrity in Juventus, and I feel like an MLS player could walk down the street and not get recognized. So, man, just all of those changes, and you're going through that basically alone. So, um, Christian Pulisic mentioned that he had a good support system, and that's good, whether that's friends or family. Some players go with their girlfriends, and, I mean, if you're someone, just don't, like, do that for your boyfriend or girlfriend. Like, if you're going to the same place, just coincidentally, like, that's fine, but don't, like, like, make a life-changing decision because of that. I don't know. Something I want to mention, but, um, man, that could be tough for a lot of people. I mean, you could be going away and Maybe you're just going alone. You could be away from friends and family, and with the language barrier, it could be hard to talk to people. And even if it wasn't there, it's just difficult to put yourself out there, uh, especially in like a pandemic where you basically are told to stay away from people as much as possible. And I mean, aside from that, there's social media where I mean, some people stay say to stay off social media basically because people only put out the best version of themselves, including me. <laughs> like this is like third time I'm recording this because I screwed up the first two. So, but I feel like it's basically impossible to do that nowadays. And could that get to the point where the only place you feel like you can just be yourself is on the field. So if an injury happens or you start to get dropped, I mean, that could be just a huge setback to get over. And depression can be a huge issue for these players. So with that, like, it's understandable why some players just don't want to make that transition. Staying close to home, it's very good, but it is possible to go away. And I feel like there's some things that can help. I mean, now I'm not... Now, you should probably take advice from somebody better than me, but I got an A in intro to psych, so I'm basically an expert. <laughs> no, but, um, I mean, there are some things you need to understand. I mean, even when you're going away like this, you're, you aren't ever truly alone. I mean, especially with how global this game is, like, even if you're, like, the only American at the club, you're not the only person who's dealing with a language barrier, the only person, like, like you at that club. There are going to be several people there that rings true for colleges too i mean there's several people leaving out of state and like you aren't ever truly alone in your situation and 
keep in mind that these clubs or schools, jobs, whatever, they want you to su succeed. Either because they made an investment in you or you're paying them. And just from like a purely pragmatic standpoint, they want you to do well. These clubs will set people up with a host family to make sure that like they're doing well. They have someone to talk to, someone where they can just have somewhere to live, you know? And that can definitely help people. I mean, they'll have coaches to talk to, want them to succeed. And as I mentioned before, players who are going through the same situation as them. And just being with them every day, you're going to feel that. And you're going to make friends with them. And, dude, it's going to happen. Like, people are going to like be able to get that support system, even in a tough situation. I mean, living in Europe, I mean... I mean, the language barrier is bad, but, I mean, English, English is a very widely spoken language. So even though, like, language barrier, that's obviously difficult. I mean, it's not as bad as you would think. And as you, like, go along and experience these things, it isn't as bad as you think. It's something that happens a lot, and it becomes easier and easier. And even if it's tough, I mean, doing this, something that I feel like you'll come out better for it. Um, and also, staying in touch with people at home has become easier than ever nowadays. I mean... As I mentioned before, you need to contextualize social media because people are only putting out the best version of themselves. But, I mean, just being able to put something out and being able to have responses to that, and that can feel good. Makes you Make sure you feel like you're not alone in this situation. And uh, just gaming with people. I mean, if you got a PlayStation, you, you, people are going to want to play with you, you know? And you say, oh, man, time zone difference. That's bad. Dude, everybody's looking for an excuse to stay up late and play something, so... I feel they'll probably like you for that. Just give them that excuse, you know. With all this going on, I feel like it's becoming easier to make that transition to a new place. And whether it's a player going across the world or someone going to school in a different state, this transition can be difficult. And it's understandable why there'd be a lot of hesitation over it and why that's how tough it can be. It can be done, and I feel like we'll be come out better for it. Yeah, that's just something I wanted to say. I feel like it's good to talk about, um, just these issues that these players will face, but just make sure you understand it. But yeah, it's something that I feel like it's best for people and want to just put that out there. I feel like that's something good to be discussed. So I'll talk about today. I'll see you.